most people don't do this. I think 99% of students don't do this. They're not aware of it. And it's really, it's really not their fault. It's nobody's fault. I guess you could say it's, it's the system. It's society's fault, perhaps. If you want to blame someone, I guess blame, blame society. So what is it? What is it that people aren't doing? Well, first, let me explain why it happens, at least in my opinion. If you're watching this video, you are probably in college or high school, and you're probably taking at least one math class. So you go to school. Let's just pretend it's face-to-face. -face. You sit down at your desk. You take out your pen or your pencil. The professor starts lecturing. You take some notes. You understand some of it. You start to feel a little bit frustrated because not all of it makes sense. You wonder why you're even there. You go home. You sit at your kitchen table. Or maybe you are lucky enough to have your own desk. You do your homework. You get stuck. You go online. You look for answers. You look in the book. You get most of it done and you're tired. It's time to eat dinner. Go to bed. Wake up again and do it tomorrow. Then you have a test next week. So there's all these pressures. You have homework due. You have tests due. How do you get a break, right? I mean, it's really hard. And that's just one class. Maybe you have a job. So you also have to go to work. Maybe you have a wife and kids. The pressure builds and builds and builds. So you never really get to do this. You never get to do this. So what is it? You never get to appreciate that math is beautiful because of all of the pressures, because you have homework that's due at a certain point, because you have timed tests that are proctored, right? You go to a class, you spend three weeks learning all of this material, maybe like 10 sections, and then you go in and you have 50 minutes and you have 10 questions and the fate of your grade depends on those 10 questions. It really is unfortunate that it is that way, but that's just the way it is. The reason it's that way, by the way, is because most people believe that the only way to prove your knowledge is to prove it during a time test because people think that otherwise people will just Google all the answers and look stuff up. It's possible. I don't know. I really don't have a strong opinion on the matter. I think that it's just the way it is. And really, that's all we can do. We can just accept it and conform because that's how society is. That's how society is built. So how do you, how do you get past that? How do you deal with that and get past that so that you can realize how beautiful math is? My advice is this. Get a book. Here's a book right here. This is a pretty good book. This is just a random book that I had here for another reason, actually. It's Mathematical Proofs, A Transition to Advanced Mathematics by Chartrand, Palamini, and Zhang. This is pretty good. It's a pretty good proof writing book. You can just go on like bookfinder.com and search for it and probably get a copy for a few dollars. And there's other great proof writing books. And get a book, sit down with a pencil and a piece of paper, and just give it half an hour. Give it half an hour of your life where you sit down and start to learn a little bit about mathematical logic. Start to learn about the OR symbol and the AND symbol. Start to learn about sets, subsets, intersections, and unions. Try to follow the beautiful logic of a mathematical proof. When you do that, when you start to understand mathematical proofs, you're really going to start to gain a different appreciation. In fact, when you actually do your own first proof, you're going to feel like a rock star. You're going to feel really, really good. And I think it's going to change the way you think about your classes and the way you think about your mathematical studies. You're going to think differently when you go to class. You're going to walk into that classroom and you're going to see the professor do something and you're going to think about it a different way. Certainly, the way I think about calculus now is not the way I thought about calculus when I was a student. The more math you learn, the deeper and richer it gets. And you start to realize how beautiful it is when you start learning stuff on your own. I really think that is an absolute requirement for success in math. If you're studying math or taking math classes and you want to do better and you want to embrace it 
and you want to get past all of those struggles, I really think that self-study is going to help you succeed in that regard. It'll give you a new appreciation for what you're doing. Um, it'll make you better at other math. That's what I like to call mathematical maturity. Mathematical maturity is the idea that, at least in my opinion, the more math you learn, the more math you read, the more proofs you write, you become better at learning new math. You can pick up a book on a topic you've never seen, and you'll be able to read it and understand it better than someone who has less mathematical maturity. That, that's my opinion on mathematical maturity. And the more math you take, the more math you read, the more math you learn, the higher your level of mathematical maturity. So it's not a waste of time. You know, if you get if you get a book like this or just some other book on proof writing or logic and you start doing some proofs on your own and maybe you're just in college algebra or maybe you're in calc 1, you're, you're nowhere near proofs at this point, right? So that's okay, right? It doesn't matter. You can do it, right? These books, these books start at nothing. You know, logic starts with nothing. It's just it's the basis of all math, right? All math is is built on logic and sets. That's modern mathematics today. I used to tell a joke to people, if you learn anything as a math major, you learn about sets and logic, especially sets because most classes start with the review of that. So start appreciating mathematics for what it is. Try to do some math on your own, right? Take take just 30 minutes a day with a book and try to do a proof, right? Try to read through it. If you don't get much done, it's okay. I guarantee you're going to feel differently after those 30 minutes. And the next time you walk into your math class, you're going to look at things differently. You're going to think about things differently. It really makes a difference. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.